Hi everyone, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to create an additional page within our content editor as well as how to use some other page options when trying to create some more advanced content. Now to go ahead and start displaying how to create a new page, I am within our five day forecast template here. So if you want to follow along, all you have to do is just create a new content and select this five day forecast template. Now. Once you've done that, it's important to note this pages panel over here on the left hand side. Now, what you see here is our main playlist. We have one slide in here and that's gonna be this five day forecast. Now, let's say I wanted to show another piece of content um, and I just wanted it to almost play in a playlist. So that's what this main playlist is. You can add new pages and have these slides alternate uh, based on a time that you've assigned them. So to demonstrate this, let me just go ahead and click add page here. I need to assign it a name. I'm just going to use an autofill option. And now that I've done this, I can now change the time of this slide. I'm just going to make it five seconds. And then I can even start dragging in some widgets here and just start creating some content. Now I'm going to assign some uh, pay actual pictures and text here because I want to make a point later on. So now that I've made some quick edits to this page and we now know how to add a, just a regular page to our main playlist, we're now presented with an option to choose between an animation when our slides are transitioning. So in this case, I've chose opacity, so it's just gonna fade in and out of each content slide. Now let's talk about those other options. All right, so below here, we're gonna have our other pages. Think of other pages as parked pages that, let's say you don't wanna use them within your piece of content now, but you wanna use them later. You All you have to do is just drag and drop uh, to your other pages here. And what this is gonna do is basically put this slide out of order so you'll no longer see it within your presentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it back in because I do wanna see it. Um, and also I wanna explain these other options that we have for pages. So we have an overlay page and we have a master page. Think of an overlay page as um, a, a basically, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a page that goes over all of your other content slides. So let's say I wanted to show five day forecast this text here on every single page. All I would do is just copy and paste this from this specific content slide. And I'm gonna go create an overlay page. And now that I've done this, I'm gonna click paste. And now you see five day forecast is present on this overlay slide. But as I said, this is going to play on every single piece of content uh, or all the slides that I have available within my main playlist. But you notice here we have a white background. I just wanna show this text. So I need to make sure that I set my background color to transparent. All right, perfect. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back into our five day forecast. And now that we're here, we're gonna talk about a master page. What a master page is, essentially it is a background that is going to play on every single slide. Now, uh, to make sense of that, you see this video here um, and you can't see it moving, but it's basically a sky that just moves in the background here of this piece, uh, this content slide. But let's say I wanted it on that other slide I created with the text and image widget. Um, I want this video to play behind it, but when the pages transition after 10 seconds or five seconds, I don't want to see any skips. I want it to just play the video evenly as uh, you know, I'm switching between my content slides. Now to accomplish this, I'm gonna go ahead and create that master page. So I'm gonna click on add master page, gonna click okay. And it says that it removes all of your backgrounds of your slides, so be careful of this. And then from here, I'm just gonna select video on our page tab and select the video and it's titled Deep Blue Sky. All right, now that I have this as our background, I'm gonna go back into our five day forecast. As you can see, it's now removed our background from the slides, so it no longer shows that video but I left five day forecast here and that's gonna play on our overlay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this. And now that I've you know explained what park pages are, 
uh, what a master page is and what an overlay page is, let's go ahead and preview this piece of content we made and uh, see, uh, basically it's gonna look the same here, but just use, utilizing those two pages. So let's save and then preview. As you can see, it's gonna play this for 10 seconds. We have the text here on the overlay, the video in the background, and when it switches, we're gonna see this page still here. Perfect, that video is still playing clear and there's no cuts when transitioning between slides. So that's gonna be it for this video on how to create new pages as well as utilize some of our other pages available within our content editor. If you have any questions, please go ahead and email us at sales at wallboard.info. We are going to be uploading more tutorials on this YouTube channel, so please be on the lookout. As always, thank you and see you next time.